As the community also continues to heal, Figer hopes these two lawsuits will bring change and protect kids from another school shooting. However, some leaders in education are calling the suits offensive. 7 Action News reporter Kim Russell live with both sides of the issue. And Kim, I understand the criticism stems from who exactly is being sued. That's right, Glenda. These are the lawsuits, one filed in federal court, one filed in state court. And it's about who they don't sue. They don't sue Ethan Crumbly, who's accused of the shooting. They don't sue his parents. They sue school administrators, teachers, and counselors. Today, at least, I am going to do something. Here are the lawsuits attorney Jeffrey Figer announced he filed in state and federal court on behalf of two students. High school senior Riley Franz, who was shot in the neck during the mass shooting last week at Oxford High, and her freshman sister Bella, who witnessed it. The suit says Oxford school leaders received complaints about Ethan Crumbly's posts on social media. Teachers and counselors saw his concerning drawings and failed to protect other students. And they allowed a deranged homicidal student to return to class with a gun in his backpack with over 30 rounds of ammo in his backpack when they knew he was a homicidal threat. He had told them as much. He had written as much. He had drawn pictures of his plan and he was allowed to carry it out. Filing lawsuits against the teachers that were in the building at the time, one of whom was shot, other, many others traumatized by what took place, suing them is only putting them through even more trauma. Robert McCann is the executive director of the K-12 Alliance for Education here in Michigan. He says the education community believes school staff should be supported as funeral services are happening today, not being sued. We included everyone because we are not certain who did what. It's just, it's not a, I don't care. There, maybe they could have funerals for the next. There's been hundreds, every day's a funeral in this country. Here we are having, you know, a Jeffrey Figer jump into the middle of that conversation and start pointing fingers when by his own admission, he doesn't know what the facts are. We share responsibility and the administrators, the counselors, the teachers, at Oxford High School bear responsibility. Attorney Figer, as he talked about these lawsuits, said that he hopes that they result in a change in laws, specifically gun laws. We'll take a look at that ahead on 7 Action News at 6. Reporting live in Southfield, Kim Russell, 7 Action News. And I imagine more lawsuits in the future. Kim, we'll see you at 6. Thank you.